It's story time. It's story time. It's story time. It's story time. Friends, today we're going to read one of my kids' favorite books. We're going to read The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. My kids used to love reading this book, and we would spend all of our evenings with this book in rotation. So parents, you know how I feel when it's a favorite. You've heard it a lot. Kids, I hope you enjoy it as much as my kids did at home. Let's read The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Ooh, I love the inside art. Look at all that. It's so colorful and interesting. Hmm. Oh, and there's all the inside circles from the page that we just saw. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. Look at the moon smiling. I like that detail. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. Say, oh, yeah, it's adorable. I love all things small. He started to look for some food. Ooh, I gotta scoot over for this one because I want you to be able to see the details on this. You can see the holes in everything that he eats, but it's an actual hole through the page. So cool. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. There he is coming out of the side of the apple, still looking for more food. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. See him? One, two. What do you think the next one is going to be? Plums? That's what I thought too. There he is. In through the holes, out of the holes, in through the hole. And look at, he's eyeballing those plums. Deliciousness. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. One, two, three. They're in order. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love strawberries. That must be what he eats next. Yep, there he goes in one two, three, and he's coming out. And those are those delicious looking strawberries again. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. There he goes all through them. And on Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. This would be the point that my mom told me it's very important to have your oranges because you don't want to get scurvy, which was an old pirate thing that they got when they didn't have enough vitamin C. So eat your oranges. Oh, look at that smorgasbord. What a variety of foods. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night he had a stomach ache. Oh, look at his poor face here too. See how sad he is? That's no fun. I don't like getting tummy aches, especially eating after a bunch of delicious food. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. One, two, three, four, five. Look at him, he's perked up again there. Goes to show you, important to have a balanced meal. Now he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. 
It's like a giant sleeping bag for a caterpillar. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon and he pushed his way out and... He was a beautiful butterfly. Ooh, look at him. The end. Whoa! Two weeks he had to stay in that cocoon. It makes me wonder. Right now, I am a kindergarten teacher, but I have been inside for two weeks. Hmm. I wonder, darlings, if you, when you see me next, I'm going to be a beautiful Nakano butterfly. We'll just have to wait and see. And waiting is not easy, but we got this. Have a wonderful afternoon, Nakanos.